Here we go. What are we gonna see today? Tangent lines, well, what are those related to? Derivatives. Wow, how awesome was that? All right, so indeed what we're going to see in this video is a geometric interpretation for the derivative of a function, namely as calculating the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so let's start by studying what secant lines are about. So suppose that I'm given a function, whatever it is, something like that. I'll call that f of x. And I want to calculate the equation of the secant line going through two points on my function that I'll call p1 and p2. So let me first introduce coordinates for these points. So the first one, say it's here, has x coordinate that I'll call c. So this is going to be p1 with coordinates c and f of c. Second one could be somewhere here with x coordinate x2, would be here. p2 coordinates x2 and f of x2. And the secant line here, I'm not really good at drawing lines, but would be the line that goes through these two points, right? So that would be the secant line. Okay, so how do I calculate the equation of the secant line? So all I really need to calculate is the slope of the secant line, because if I know the slope, I can use the point-slope formula, because I know a point on it, to calculate the equation. So I'll focus on calculating the slope. So the slope I'm going to call m p1, p2. So what is this? This is rise over run, so it's the difference in y coordinates, so f of x2 minus f of c, over the difference in x coordinates, so x2 minus c. Now let me introduce uh, a new name for x2, just because I'm going to use that later on. So if I call x2 c plus h instead of x2, then I can rewrite this expression for the slope of the secant line as f of c plus h minus f of c divided by now x2 minus c becomes c plus h minus c so the c's cancel and I end up with h. Now by the way this expression here that I have is called the difference quotient of the function f at the point c. This is something you will see in the textbook. Okay so this is good this is for the secant line. Now what about the tangent line? All right, so I have a little applet here, which uh, will be cool to visualize what the tangent line is about. So suppose that I want to calculate the equation of the tangent line at the point P1 here, with x coordinate C. So what is the tangent line? So you should really understand it as being the line that barely touches the graph of the function. Or another way of seeing it is if you zoom on the function, uh, the tangent line will give you a very good approximation of the function close to the point uh, P1. And in fact, it's called the linearization of the function at this point. So if I click here on my applet, this will show me the tangent line at this point. So you see, if you look at the function close to c, to the point p1, x coordinate c, the tangent line provides a very good approximation. Okay, but how can I calculate its equation? Well, let's see. So if I take my secant line, where I take the second point p2, and I bring it closer and closer to the first point, what happens well, you see, the green line, the secant line becomes, it looks more and more like the tangent line, right? And if I bring the second point extremely close to the first one, then they become pretty much exactly the same. So this is one way of defining the tangent line. You take the secant line, and you bring, but you bring the second point as close as possible to the first point. All right, so let, let's try to write, down, write this down mathematically. So now I'm interested in the tangent line. Now it's at a single point, so tangent line at P1. How can I calculate this equation? So on the graph, if you remember from the applet, so P1 is here, the tangent line would be the line that gives a good approximation of the function near P1, barely touches the function. So this would be my tangent line at P1. How can I calculate this equation? So again, I'll just focus on calculating the slope. So to calculate the slope of the tangent line, so what I want to do is take the second point and bring it as close as possible to C. Now there's a way to write that mathematically. 
uh, we write that as a limit, as we know. So we take the limit as x2 goes to c of the slope of the secant line, which is f of x2 minus f of c, divided by x2 minus c. I could also write the same thing in the second notation here. So sending x2 to be very close to c is the same thing as sending h to be very close to 0. So I could write that as being the limit as h goes to 0 of the second expression here, f of c plus h minus f of c divided by h. Both expressions here give me the slope of the tangent line. Okay, this is all very cool, but uh, it's even cooler than that. So what is this? We've seen that before. This is exactly the definition of the derivative of the function or the instantaneous rate of change of the function at the point c. Amazing, isn't it? So what we found here is a geometric interpretation for the derivative of a function, namely that f prime of c, the derivative of a function at the point c, is the slope of the tangent line at point x equals to c. Boom! 